Arctic Cat ATV Troubleshooting. If you're looking for help fixing your Arctic Cat ATV, look no further. Our comprehensive Arctic Cat ATV troubleshooting guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and show you how to read your model's error codes. Is the engine getting compression? If your engine isn't getting enough compression, it won't be able to pull fuel into the cylinder and stay running. The inside of your engine has some moving parts that need to be sealed up tight in order to work properly. The most common reasons you're not getting enough compression is a worn out or leaking head gasket or a blown piston ring. Sometimes, if dirt has been getting into the engine through the air intake, you could have scarring on the inside of the cylinder walls. I hope that's not your case, but it will cause a loss of compression. To check for compression, you'll want to perform what is called a leak down test. This process involves a special compression tester kit. You remove the spark plug and hook the compression tester kit in its place. Is there enough airflow? This one's real simple to check, but also one of the most important. If your engine isn't getting enough air to mix with the fuel in the combustion chamber, it won't run properly and might not even start up. Make sure the air filter is cleaned out and there are no obstructions blocking the air box intake. You may need to replace the air filter altogether. It's a good idea to do that once in a while anyways. But if the filter isn't that old, you might get away with just cleaning it out real good. Is the ATV getting fuel? There could be a number of reasons the engine isn't getting enough fuel to start and stay running. The most common reasons have to do with the fuel pump or the carburetor. If you have a fuel-injected motor, you may just need to clean the injectors to get it running smoothly again. To quickly check for gas flow, remove the fuel line from the carb or injectors and place over some sort of container to catch the gas. The gas should flow freely. If it does not, try blowing out the fuel lines and inspect the fuel pump and filter. If gas does flow freely, your problem is further down in the carb or injectors. If you have a fuel pump issue, it will most likely be the diaphragms inside the fuel pump or the filter is too clogged to allow fuel to flow freely to the engine. If you have a carburetor, the most common fix is replacing the needle valve and seat. If you notice your spark plug is dry after trying to start the engine, that is a good indicator that you're not getting fuel to the engine. Start by spraying some carb cleaner or ether into the carb or injectors and then try to start up the engine. This could help you start to narrow down the issue. Is the ATV getting spark? If your engine's not getting any spark, or getting weak spark, it won't start at all. The engine will turn over, but will never be able to ignite the fuel and get running. Don't worry, there's a quick and easy way to check for spark. Just take the spark plug out of the engine and plug it back into the spark plug wire. Put the spark plug on the cylinder or something that will ground it. Make sure the spark plug electrodes will be close enough to something grounded. Try starting the engine. If everything's working right, you should see some spark coming out of the spark plug, jumping to whatever grounded part it's touching. The first thing you should try is replacing the spark plug. They're cheap and usually the cause of getting no spark. Make sure you get the right spark plug for your engine and that it's gapped correctly. Is the battery good? The easiest fix for an electrical problem is changing out the battery. So let's make sure the battery is good before we go any further. You'll need a multimeter set to voltage to check your battery. Place the leads of the multimeter on the positive and negative terminals of the battery. You should see a reading above 12V on the multimeter. If you're getting less than that, you should try charging the battery. If your battery doesn't hold above 12V after a nice long charge, you may need to replace the battery. If your battery isn't the problem, maybe something else in the electrical system is preventing the quad from starting. Time to check for spark. Sourceatvhelper.com